Okay, we start by dragging the picture and making sure that our resolution is 300 um, because 72 is really low and then it gets pixelated. Then you drag the uh, floating island and open it in a separate tab. Select the island, not the city, and then you basically just drag the island onto the sky. You resize it to your liking and then in order to erase the outlines appearing around the island what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on select color range and select the color and just hit delete and it's automatically gonna cancel it out this is much faster than using the magic eraser which can sometimes even cut your picture out cleaning the edges okay that looks pretty good get the abandoned house same thing just basically selecting it yeah you make sure that you bring it behind the island because that's what you want to do you don't want it to be in front of it that it feels like it's really erupting from the island. Just clearing up the bushes from the door to make it look more natural. Then we add the hot balloon on top of the chimney. You have to make it look like it's part of the chimney because if you look back into the previous images you can see that it is being shown as that so that's what we're going to do now now we're going to copy it onto a layer and change its color through hue saturation Now it does have some bleeding ends, but we're just going to erase them out and fix them. And yeah, just adjust the brightness and contrast. Wrap it around the balloon properly. Next are the propellers. These ones are different from the ones I used earlier because these ones are much easier to use. So you don't need to be very neat with them. Okay, then just resize them and then just apply a blending, uh, layer blending to it instead of erasing it. Um, experiment around with these blends. I highly recommend that. Just distorting it a bit to make it look realistic parachute man you can uh, add anything else besides the parachute man uh, keep in mind this whole tutorial you can use anything else as a replacement of any of these pictures this is just to show you how to uh, manip a picture so but be sure to just go wild with this there's no limits with this one
crop it out. Then you drag the earth. Um, you can use any other planet if you want. Just be creative. And then just apply the screen effects on it. Again, from the blending options that you have on your layers. Again, feel free to experiment around. In fact, I recommend that. That way you'll be more familiar with these effects. But for now, uh, I used screen. Then I just erase the sides to blend it in with the sky. Just touching up the whole picture in general now. Basically, you just play around with the colors until you're happy with them, until you like the way it looks. Just save it as one picture so that you can edit it all and see. Reason why I do it separately without even closing the previous tab is like just in case if I change my mind about something, I can go back and still change it through the layers. That is it. Hope it helped.